You will need a ruler. A surface to wrap your yarn around. A very hairy hot glue gun. Hot glue sticks. Felt red eyeballs. A felt red oval nose. Pipe cleaner. And beige hands. Felt. And beige felt footsies. All mine are crocheted in full yarn. Uh, you also need some scissors, needle, lighter, and a small ribbon. And purple yarn! Okay, first you want to wrap your purple yarn around the uh, surface that you chose. I'm just using this uh, box of pencil crayons. So you want to wrap until you have a ton of yarn because you want your vinette to be very poofy and cute or epic feel like an epic vinette <laughs> okay um this piece that i'm cutting off here is going to be wrapping around the middle of the yarn and that's what's going to keep all the little stray bits of yarn together Okay, so now you're going to add your feet that have the extra little yarn or like string or whatever that you have attached to your uh, feetsies, whatever you chose, felt or crocheted feet. Okay, and then you're going to tie everything together. Now be careful when you're tying your uh, all your yarn together, it'll bounce back. So you'll have to leave your finger in the middle so it's easier to uh, tie it to keep it very snug because you want your middle very snug and then you're going to flip over to the other side and then you're also going to tie that side so i would repeat this process like two or three times just to ensure that your the middle of uh your venonat is a uh, nice and sturdy if you don't want the yarn to go anywhere i would uh hot glue the middle but i didn't bother Okay, now you want to cut in the folds of all the uh, yarn so you can make a pom-pom at this point. Position your feet where how long you want it and then you're gonna tie the uh, foot yarn <laughs> um, around the center of the pom-pom uh, just to ensure that the the feet don't run away on you. And you're gonna trim that and you got a pump on with feet disclaimer they do run away no just kidding <laughs> okay so now you're gonna glue um, the the tops of the feet onto the uh, the purple yarn just to keep the feet in place so uh, when you put them on your backpack or whatever your keys if you decide um then the feet aren't just like on top of its head one day <laughs> if you want that effect go for it and please post pictures because i love random <laughs> and you want to do this to both sides
Venena has feet! Disclaimer, your Venenet may take off. Be sure to watch your Venenet. <laughs> okay, so the top of the um, the antennas you're going to be folding twice to ensure that uh, the pipe cleaner does not unravel from itself. Just um, hot glue in between each of the, the rolls. And you want to do this to both sides. Okay, bend in the middle softly. And you want to make uh, a V for Venonat. Okay, so now you're going to take the antenna and you're going to kind of weave it through the uh, center yarn that's keeping all the other little bits of yarn together. We'll call it center yarn. I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> And dab a little bit of glue on your antenna right in the middle and then slide it right through okay so once that's uh, cooled and dried and you're gonna hot glue the the bottom of the uh, pipe cleaners uh, yep and then you're gonna get uh, the yarn that would naturally sit around it to permanently glue down on the antennas. Just ensure strength. Ta da! Okay, so now you're gonna measure out your fangs. That's how long I did mine. You're gonna bend them in half. Take your hot glue gun and apply a little bit of glue on the back of the nose. Apply your fangs. Okay, so um, you're going to now flatten the front that you chose where you want to place your face. And you're going to take your eyes, the nose, little hands, and you're going to put them wherever you think you sh you really enjoy where, where the placement is. So just adjust your pieces how you wish. It'll look something like that. And then once you're happy uh, about your placement, then you're going to glue the backs of all your pieces. Also an added tip, um, just have a couple strands of the purple yarn, kind of like uh, freelance in between like the eyes and the nose and stuff. Uh, because um, we're going to cut it later uh, to make the face still look poofy and not so flat. So yeah, like I said, you can use um, uh, crocheted bits like I did, or um, you can do felt. I really wanted to do felt, but I didn't have any of the colors that I needed, so I just chose to crochet everything, and it worked just fine. And uh, my daughter quite enjoys it, so which is wicked. Yeah, see what I mean? It's like kind of flat. So I just kind of shake, shook the the pom pom to see what was uh, kind of sitting there. And then you'll just kind of adjust the face. So like right around the eyes, you'll cut short, very short. And then once you get closer up to like the antennas and to the out, uh, outer of the, the face and stuff like that, you'll go longer and longer. So it'd be like sh short in the face and then longer as you go out. All the way around. So that's around the paws as well. 
So it'll take uh, several minutes to get the look that you like, but uh, in the end, I think it turned out really good. Ta-da! Yeah, I think it just looks a lot better than, you know, being hit by a semi, right? <laughs> we don't want our Venonats to be hit by a semi. No. <laughs> So you can leave it like this and have it as a toy, or you can make it a charm. So you're going to use these, uh, scissor, needle, lighter, and a ribbon. And now you're going to just uh, measure your ribbon to where you want it. You could also make this shorter as well. And um, you can put an actual like chain and like a uh, key loop. So you can put it for like keys or, or, or a backpack. Okay, and now you're gonna impale your uh, vinanat. <laughs> um, you wanna make sure that uh, you grab it closer to the center of the, the pom-pom. Just for strength, right? You don't want it to like fall apart and have your project look like crap, right? So somewhere around there in the middle. And then you're gonna just knot the end. So yeah, you're just gonna pull your uh, the tails of your ribbon and put it through the loop. Now, if you want, you can put a little bit of hot glue on the knot and it'll stay on the head and then it, you're just left with like this little yarn bit, but there you go. There is your Venom knot. I hope you guys loved my tutorial for today and I hope you guys will catch me for next week for possibly another DIY or maybe something else very funky who knows what has uh, on this channel of the adventures of CC and uh, please like comment and subscribe and love you guys